Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing a uh, a lineup build for the uh, PGA tournament, the Sanderson uh, Farms, tomorrow, and we're going to kind of do it the right way, and then we're kind of do it the wrong way. All right. So first of all, we're going to do this the right way. We're going to take a look at the projections, make sure that we like them. We're going to upload them and then we're going to run our builds and then we're going to just make one probable change that um, I don't really recommend for quantitative players out there. Um, but in, in the name of transparency, um, it's something that I'm going to do and I'd like to, I'm going to share that with you. Okay, so let's take a look at the the numbers first of all. I mean, I, uh, my projections, the way I'm kind of playing them, there are a couple of, of differences between me and Saberson that I think are worth mentioning. I, I, I have Dick Dunlop uh, much lower than, uh, than Saberson does, so just kind of take that for what it is everything else is pretty close i mean I have eric cole a little bit lower steven yeager a little bit lower um with respect to ownership i mean i've been doing this a while now and and it just never really works out this way when i say that i mean all these guys being just 21 20 20 18 17 17 it just actually doesn't work out that way. You'll end up with one or two of these guys at 30%. You just are. And unfortunately, the, the best way to figure out how that's going to be is just build like 5,000 lineups and see what you'd be getting because the projection models are very, very close to everybody else's. And, and when you see... Let's just take a look. Um, so like my exposure here would be getting ooh, look at all this 44% Andrew Novak. That's that's sort of interesting, actually. And then with the pool, we look at all five thousand. You getting Jonathan Vegas as the highest owned. See, I'm that's kind of confusing to me. I really thought that at the end of the day, um, Keith Mitchell was going to be the highest owned guy, but it just doesn't seem to be working out that way. This is very um uh, it's very interesting to me. So let's just kind of run this. Um let's just make sure that we have our contest sim saved, which we do. And we're just gonna run our sims against this. This is very very interesting. And then after I do that, I just want to kind of review the various ways that we could look at the at the rankings of these lineups. So again, remember we were building, we built five thousand, and then it's really just a question of which of these five thousand we're going to play in our one hundred and fifty. So um, before we get to the sim results, let's remind ourselves of the various. Um, ways you can rank these things first let's look at this this metric here this is golf main metric that's where we kind of left this here before um and what golf main is it's a saber score formula that it does you know prioritize the 99th percentile outcome of the lineup which is important and it does ding the lineup for ownership in a pretty in a pretty aggressive way actually you know i i i compare this to that of the M of mma and even mma doesn't punish lineups this this much so without even going into the sims um you're you're going to be in pretty good shape with these types of builds the only problem with this is that it's going to depend on how good your ownership projections are, you know? Um, and because if the formula is going to be based on how much you ding based on ownership, it's going to, you know, affect how you rank these players. 
Um, and I already mentioned that I think the ownership projections are pretty fishy. Um, just they're, they're way too smooth. So maybe ranking a lineup or a portfolio of lineups based on uh, anything that relies on the ownership being correct is uh might be uh might be fishy as the Mets lose. Um so let's let's take a look at other ways you can do this. Now again, if you wanted to, you could you could use your um your custom metrics like this one that I have this sheets default, which uh it actually look it's actually pretty similar, right? Isn't sheets default very similar to Golf main, this one is 0.5 times some of my projections and 0.75 times 99th percentile outcome, where the golf main, again, was 0.4 times. Oh, it's actually, the range. it's pretty close. Uh, so Sheets default is not going to really help too much. So why don't we just kind of run the Sims? And now with, when you do that, let's again, let's just focus on the, the lottery for now. We have to figure out, you know, what sim settings we're kind of using here. So right here, it's it's using the field lineups. That is the 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 presumption or the assumption of what the field is going to do as this flagship MME um build. So let's let's take a look and see what that is. Um under field lineups for high stakes, or excuse me, for flagship MMA. Mm, let's take a look. You take a look at players here. And this is the ownership breakdown. And the problem with this one is, again, I just think that the Kevin Mitchell at 17% is just kind of a poor presumption. I just don't think that he's going to be only 16% owned. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, Cause you can get to him. He, the highest, one of the higher projections. I don't, I don't get it. Now, again, the Nick Dunlop one is interesting because again, I am much higher, much lower on Nick Dunlop than Saberson. So they're projecting him to be high scoring, which means they're projecting him to project well, which means they are projecting him to be high owned. So if I'm not going to agree with this, I can't really very well use flagship MME as the right field of lineups either. So the, the best I'm going to be able to do is maybe use the, the, the field that I just built meaning build one. And we look at build one. Now we look at the pool. And this is, again, the problem with this one is, again, the stupid, the, the Kevin, the, the, the Keith Mitchell thing. Um, So you're at kind of a weird standstill. You know, you don't know exactly what, how to rank these lineups. I think that, in, in, a, in a case like this, maybe you are better off just going with the flagship MME, you know, and, and just hoping that that Saberson knows what they're doing there. But again, it's the same problem, you know, because they, now you're relying specifically on the Saberson ownerships. So let's use, I guess, build two. In other words, like just building build one, like using the 5,000 that we built is probably the best. It's got the least amount of fleas, I suppose. Yes, you don't have the Keith Mitchell 20%. You know, this is probably a little bit light. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. And what you're really supposed to do is probably sample all, all three of them. You know, you're supposed to sample from all those fields and, and come up with kind of a blended field if, if you really want to know the truth. 
Um, however, the one thing that's good about this one, the golf main, it it does have you. It relies on ownership projections, but it's not just the Saber Sim ownership ship projections, right? Because it's it's using our ownership projections to make this calculation. And I do trust my ownership projections over just the one Saberson one. So we are going to use this golf main one as our main, as our way of ranking them. And again, this is real transparency. I'm, you're literally hearing me talk through this um, as I as I do it. Now, because I'm a little bit uh, suspect <laughs> with respect to how I'm doing this, I do want to give myself some diversification. So we are going to go min uniques more than one. And how many more is going to depend on, on, on this? So we're going to go aggregate metrics, and we're going to have this little thing here where we put average projected score, like visible right over here. So the average of all average projection of all one, you know, the 150 lineups is 406.73. And the reason why we're keeping it like this is so when we change this min uniques, we're going to see how doing so affects this average projection. And, and we're going to wait to see how, when it really yells at us. So like when we go from min uniques one to min uniques two, it doesn't really affect the average projection at all. So we're going to, we're going to keep going. Now we go to to I mean, Unix three, and it, you, you lose like a point and a half. You go from four hundred six to four point five, four or four point five, and then when you go to Min Unix four, then you really get dinged. So we're gonna go back to Min Unix three, and we're gonna use this portfolio in our um in our lottery. So let's just do that. So let's go. Let's save this to the sand trap. And then we're going to go with this. Now for these others, I mean, I, I, you could probably use the same ranking system, except you're really not tailoring it to the tournaments that you're playing. So, what I think I'm going to do is for those tournaments, I am going to run the Sims. Um, well, I already ran the Sims. What we're going to do with those is we're going to go for each one, the risk-adjusted ROI, and we're just going to manually enter them like this. So, well, now the problem is it's still saving. Why is it still saving that one? From, then this is the problem again with this new old versus old. So we might end up having to um to manually save these. So let's 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 do that again. Let's go back to where we were. So golf main, main uniques three. This is what we have, and let's again um. Let's just save this to the CSV. Can we even do that? Look at this. Not so easy. Okay, here we go. So we'll save this one. And then what we're going to do, we're going to be a little bit funky. We're going to download those to our... I'll do this offline, I guess. Hold on a minute. I mean, on the other page. Hold on. Download. I don't know. That's 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 weird about Saber Sim. Is it delays everything? So let's let's fill these in. Okay. So now now we've done the one fifty. We'll upload that. And then this is what we're going to do.
we'll go back to the new saber sim because it does a little bit of better of a job with the, with the contest sims. So let's switch to new saber sim. Can't believe we have to do this. Ooh, as oh my god! Oh, I'm watching highlights of the Milwaukee game. Sorry. Right. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna go back to the Braves Padres. Okay. So we go back to new Sabres. So it's just a, it's just it does a little bit better with the Sims here. So let's go back uh, here, PGA, and we just have to remember. And this is Jordan told me you have to do it's completely separate build from old to new because it just kind of creates lineups in a different way. So let's do that. PGA. PGA Sim. Boom. Boom. Let's build here. Oh, so this Braves game is five to two. Okay. Yeah, Bra Mets had a we're in we're in good shape too. Just uh it's tough. Yeah, we could actually use, use a Hayagosha, Kyle Higiosha. Something good happened here. Okay, so we ran our lineups, and then we are just going to run the Sims. And it already knows what we're playing. Again, it's 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 the new Saber Sim is very is much more streamlined, and it's a little bit scary that it's so streamlined. In other words, I'd like to just see it struggle a little bit. I'd like to kind of tailor the tournaments a little bit more until I'm a hundred percent confident I could just let it fly. There's Hayagosha. Oh, he made out. So what we're going to do is we ran the Sims, but I only want to save these. Well, let's first of all go to um, autofill, but I only want to do, I don't want to do the sand trap. I'm going to do the others. And we're going to put the signature hole all the way at the top. And we'll just do this. Just do this. And we should be good to go. Um, but before I do that, I want to make sure that I'm putting the right entry file in. So let's, let's just make sure that I have this right, because I don't know if this uploaded the new, yeah, so it doesn't have these in there. So we, let, let's, let's, um, make sure that we have the correct contest file. I think we do now that I, we will in a second. And so now you can see that it's got these uploads in here. Um, fine. And now we go back to here and now we can put these into these four. Right. Under autofill, under unique rank, boom. And we saved four lineups to four contests. And now we can be off to the races. I think that's going to do it. You know, so so again, that's that's kind of an uh, an inside look into how you know someone who knows how what they're doing <laughs> can still struggle with the tools because you know you just don't know exactly the best way to use them on a slate to slate basis. Anyway, uh, that's where we are as far as the golf goes. Hopefully, that wasn't too uh, obtuse. In any case, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.